Uh, I thought I'd just show you this quick little trick just because of how simple it is. Um, and yeah, you can get some really nice effects. So essentially it's a circle with circles instanced on that circle and then kind of just twist it about. And that's literally the entire thing. So, you know, if we add a mesh circle here, so uh, if we just drop in a plane and then we can add a mesh or we just create a new group input, delete that, create a mesh circle. And these are essentially our points that we can uh, instance our circles on. So if we now add an instance on points node, drop that in there and then drop in a curve circle like that, just that. Uh, we can just drop that on instance and we're gonna see what we get. We get this beautiful little spiral thing, which is what we're looking for, but we want a lot more. So I'm gonna add 2000 of them. So we get this pretty flat disc now and we can just go ahead and put this to like two or something and if we zoom in we can see maybe we put this to 200 we can see what's happening now like so so we actually want to rotate these uh, around uh, that circle so we want to rotate them in a way that's you know visually interesting and actually essentially the position determines how much it's being rotated by so if we go and drop in a rotation to Euler node, just drop that in there and plug that into our rotation. If we then just drop in a position node, you can see that the position is now gonna affect the uh, amount of rotation and you get this interesting thing. So if we go ahead and like add a math node here, we just drop a math node in. Uh, we can use different functions here as well to kind of create some interesting aesthetics, I guess. You can get some really, really visually cool things. Uh, I'm just gonna drop in a divide and just kind of divide this by 0.2. Okay, so we have our circle uh, and it's being rotated in quite a visually interesting way, but we obviously can't actually see these. So we just need to essentially create a profile curve. So we do this by going curve to mesh like so and then we've got this profile curve node so we can add another curve circle so if we drop this curve circle in here you can see we then wrap a circle around those points so we just dropped it by something like 0 0.05 we can see how that looked and it's kind of cool and it's made it's like 0.5 so if we drop in a material now so set material drop that in there select that we're then going to right click down here and just create another section for our shader node and we're going to select our default material which is what we just selected there and we're going to delete our principles and just add a mixed shader because we're essentially going to combine two different shaders together one that's an emissive surface like so and then one that's a transparent which is going to give us a translucent effect like so. so if we drop that in there like that and then just plug that up maybe we can also set our world's color to maybe black so we get a better idea of how this looks. And yeah, that's kind of where we're at. We can increase this by something like 2000 and increasing this to maybe 128 and make that, yeah, make that like 64. And we can just increase that as well to something like that maybe. And we're kind of getting the desired effects. And yeah, it's pretty much as simple as that pretty powerful you know you can increase the size of this to get something kind of interesting you can also go ahead and just multiply this like so so if we add a multiplication like that you can get some interesting visuals you can also use an add which is always nice you know you, you can essentially use any of these functions and you get something slightly different so yeah it can be quite interesting i'm going to go for a value quite small because i think that actually creates the nicest aesthetic and then yeah, you can just increase this or decrease it. So yeah, and yeah, this is quite a nice little setup with these values. You know, you can increase that, decrease that for kind of different different formats. But yeah, that's kind of it, you know? I think it's quite a beautiful system. And yeah, it just creates some quite interesting geometry on its own, actually. So yeah, super simple one for you guys today, but I think it's quite an effective aesthetic. So. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.